Hey, this is, this is Ray from the Podcaster Studio. I'm doing a quick demo of something that I've been looking for for a really long time, and I happened to search the App Store, and this was just released a couple weeks ago. So I'm really excited about it, and it's the ability to control your webcam. So, And that's manual control. As a video guy, I'm always seeking to get manual controls of my camera, and I'm talking about just a basic... FaceTime HD camera that's built into my Mac here. This is a uh, Mac app. So what I want the ability to do is to change things like color temperature. Right now you're seeing my face. It has a purple cast to it, which is coming off the monitor. And I don't want my face to be purple. I want it to be actually flesh tones, right? And if I want to mix colors like different colors in the background, mix with you know correct exposure in the foreground, I want to be able to have that control. I want controls over other things like, well, it gives you aperture control for the lighting. And so it, I said exposure, but I, what I actually mean here is actual exposure, brightness versus darkness. You can play with the contrast to create a more dynamic look, uh, have more uh, or just a higher, con you know, a crunchy look, right? So the, the brighter's bright and the darker's dark. So it uh, gives the, the shot more depth. So... I want to be able to control my camera because sometimes the camera decides it wants to do something you don't want it to do. And basically control of the camera is out of your hands. And so if it's manual, I set it and forget it. I mean, I have my lighting the way I want to and the picture will look good the whole time. Now, right now I'm just in front of an open window. It is actually eight o'clock at night. So it's, it's still light outside, but it's not really bright. And I have the one light in the background there which is tungsten, and I got daylight coming in. So we got a bit of a, a mixed lighting situation here. But what I want to do is just go ahead and open this up. And it's called Webcam Settings. Now this one is, I think it's $8.99 in the App Store and also controls some uh, versions of external cameras, USB uh, webcams, uh, several in the Logitech series and some others. There's a $4.99 version that will that'll let you control just your FaceTime HD. But I bought this one so that I could upgrade my camera if I wanted to and get some controls that way. Now, not all the controls work for every camera. So right now it's in auto and everything is auto right now, which is what I don't want. I want control of my camera. And I've seen uh, other apps like Cam Twist do this a little bit, but it, you know, as soon as you make an adjustment, it really ruins the overall image and your webcam looks quite bad. So this... Uh, if you don't push it too far, it works really well with the camera and doesn't ruin your image. And so I'm going to switch here to manual, and I guess I could show you. Let me do a little screen share here. And let me see if I can get webcam settings. So if we go to the desktop, we'll select that, and you're going to see a lot of crazy things. But here in the middle is the interface for webcam settings for the FaceTime HD. And we have basic and advanced and backlight compensation. You can see the difference there. It's not much of a difference. And you got some power line frequency that you can mess with here, maybe to reduce some hum. But I leave that one on auto. It's fine for now. And I go to the basic tab and here we are on manual and I don't have shutter priority or aperture priority, but that's okay. I actually don't want to use those. I want manual, full manual. I go to manual, and I'm actually going to then, let's see, I need to see the image here. So let me, let me just, I'll, I'll do this a little bit here without seeing the results. It's hard for me to see what's going on. You can see I have uh, exposure time, which is going to change the brightness of my image. I also have brightness, contrast, hue, mess with the colors a little bit, saturation, which is nice, sharpness, which is it's kind of nice. You don't want to overdo it. And the white balance temperature, which is huge for me. And again, right now it's on auto and we'll mess with that. So I'm going to mess with those settings, but I do need to see what is going on. So I'm going to switch back here. And my image has been flipped. Oh, there we go. For some reason it had flipped my image, but we are back. All right. And so what I'm going to do is first thing, I'm going to go for white balance. Again, you can see this purple sort of cast that I'm getting from a combination of the daylight and the computer screen. The typical webcam look that everyone gets. I'm going to switch it off of auto. 
All right? And I'm going to play the color temperature. Now, if I want to cool it down, I can go more blue, basically, like that. And it doesn't change the image. It changes the color, but not the image quality, which is nice. And we can go all the way to warm, way overdo it here, uh, sort of a tungsten light. And that's too, too warm. So let's find the happy medium where this is kind of back where we were. And I'm going to go up towards the warm just a little bit here. And you can see my skin tones are starting to look more normal, less purple. So this looks more like me. So I'm going to leave it right about there. My skin looks normal. The whites look pretty white, what white should look like. And uh, I'm going to mess here with the brightness. Now I can take the brightness down and I can bring the brightness up, uh, which creates actually kind of a flat look, but I won't, I won't go there. So I'm going to leave the brightness right back where it was. And I'm actually going to go up on the aperture, which is actually counterintuitive. If you Oh, I won't get into correct uses of aperture, but if I just slam down the aperture, you can see it kind of does the same thing as brightness. And so I play with the two. I'm going to bring up aperture to where, right about there, which is a decent exposure. Um, and exposure time does really kind of the same thing too, and it brightens. But I, you know, I try to mess with the, the different ones to see which one works better for the background. See, if I bring down the exposure time a little bit, kind of get the background where I want it. I'm going to bring the aperture up till I get where the exposure I want on my face, which right about there looks pretty good. That's kind of a nice look. I can mess with the contrast here to get the darks a little darker if I want. You can really blow it out and go too contrasty and no contrast at all. I'm just going to bump it up just a little bit. I'm going to do an exposure again. I'm losing light as we speak. I'm going to double check the white balance here and right about there, I like my skin tone enough. We could take the saturation and really overdo it, or we could go to black and white if we want. And that's kind of nice, and I would mess with the exposure again uh, on this one. Do different things. Really dynamic look there with the high contrast. And I'm going to bring the saturation back to normal. A little saturation. I'm going to go back to the white balance. My, my color, my, you know, ultimately you would do this with light so that it wouldn't change your color temperature. But there we go. That looks close enough to my skin tone. And the exposure looks decent. Now, again, I would set up more lights if I had the time. But I just wanted to show you this amazing app that I've been looking for for a long time to be able to control my video cam. So if you want to get links to this and learn more about it, go to thepodcasterstudio.com slash webcam settings. That's thepodcasterstudio.com slash webcam settings. And I'll post this there. And uh, that's about it. It's, it's a really basic, well, it's a little bit more than basic, but really good controls that play well with your camera and let you get better quality webcam video. Especially now we've got the Google Hangouts. Nice to have nice looking video. All right, see you next time.